Yeah, hi there, guys. And girls. Okay, Memcached. First of all, what is it? Basically, it's a service that you can install on a machine, the same machine as your web server, or across the network, so you can share memory across multiple machines if you want it. How can you use it? Well, simplest thing is obviously for caching results, so it's a lot quicker to get from memory rather than getting it from the disk or the database. Example I'm using for this one is basically for labels. So you have an application which is multilingual. You're going to be storing your labels somewhere in, say, a database or a flat file somewhere. And what you don't want to do is every time you refresh a page or move from page to page is reload the information. It'd be better to know that have you loaded it already? If so, if I cached it in memory, it's a lot quicker to get back. Okay. Installation. As you might have guessed, since I've put Windows at the top, I'm a Windows user. I've heard of Linux, but uh, whatever. Basically, it's just a, <laughs> an install very, uh, off the uh, HTTP site at the top, and it's just a basic install off of a DOS prompt. You've, a DOS prompt is basically just that little window there, okay, for the people who don't know. For Linux, I've took that link there, and I'm hoping that that's the right install. I don't know. Linux is just a black box to me, okay? All right, and then you've got your configuration file at the bottom where you can actually apply the details. With the Windows one, it's off of the switches, so hyphen help gives you all the switches. So you can allocate your memory size, what port number it runs on, things like that. Okay, and as I say, multiple machines if you want it to. Okay, the download obviously comes with a DLL or a .so, whatever it is. Okay, so in Windows, we just simply add it to our PHP configuration file. And once everything's happy, you can do a PHP info, and up it comes. This is going to be quick, isn't it? Right. Okay, maybe it is small. For you at the back, I'm sorry it's a bit small. What I've got is a very quick example here of how to use the uh, memcached. So basically, we just instantiate a new uh, class of it. We can call add server as many times as we want, which are the available servers. So you've got the IP address and the port name. And the more servers you add, obviously, the more memory you get available to yourself. You can then just call the set command to just do a quick test connect. And all that does is just sends one byte to the memory. And if it comes back false, then obviously, there's nothing there. If everything is OK, then what we do is I'm simply just doing a cache get rather than a set using a key. And that can be anything. That's just a string. And I'm saying, do I have that? And put it into lang array. And if that's an array, I'm saying, yes, great, I've got my language settings, OK? I'm actually storing my language labels as an array in there. If it's not there, so it's not loaded, then simply all I'm doing is just going off of a, an XML file where I hold all my labels for reaching them, storing them in a, uh, an array, just looping through the XML, and then setting it with that key inside, OK? So all that script is doing is, do I have it in memory? Yes or no? If no, load it from XML, otherwise OK. And then when the next page comes along, obviously calls the same thing, load it out of memory, much quicker. And I can tell you it's much quicker because I use this anyway. Also, you can get statistics from this. So you can open a new class, add server, and you can do get extended stats. And what it will do is it will bring you back an array of various information, such as the process ID that's running, how long it's been running for a version, how much RAM you've allocated, how much RAM you've used so far, so you can see how far you're going. And then you can choose to, to, uh, to use that information however you want and just place it on a screen. So what I've got is a sample screen I put together which shows you the various machines, whether they're up or down, how long they've been up, how much RAM is allocated, and you can show there on the right how much of your available RAM or free is going. Okay, and that's three separate machines I've got that installed on. I told you it'd be quick. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> now you've got no questions, really. Come on. <laughs> In honest response to your thing, I've only used Memcache. OK? Any more? That was easy. No? I'll leave you to it.
No, you haven't. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> cool. uh, how do you handle um, clusters of servers if you've got uh, multiple website servers? Do you, can you do clustering with the memcache or just local to where you're serving from? Well, yeah, it's just local to where you're serving from, yeah. Okay. Does it do cache invalidation as well? In terms of? I don't know, if you update whatever value it is, it's cached in there. Hmm. Can you do all that stuff as well? Yes. Uh, how, how does it know? I'd have to bring out the code oh, for that. <laughs> okay, anything else? These are no difficult ones. No? In that case, I'm going to sit down. <laughs>